Are you team thong or team big panty? I know I'm the latter, which is why I've got this lovely big pair of panties. And today I'm going to show you how to draft them yourself. So if that interests you, stay tuned. Hi, if we haven't met, my name's Claire and this is my channel, Penguin and Pear, where I share all things sewing and dressmaking. So if you're looking to grow your confidence and your skills in dressmaking, then don't forget to hit the subscribe button below because I bring you lots of videos that will help you to achieve that. And in today's video, we are going to self-draft these panties. Full disclosure, these panties are bought from Sainsbury's and I'm going to use them to self-draft my own panties. So once we've learned to self-draft our panties, we need not go buying panties anymore. If you have scraps from your jersey projects, then you can use them on this. In my case, I need some big scraps to cover my big Bridget bum. How rewarding to make your own packs. So without further ado, let's hop over to the instruction. Right, today we're going to make some big girl Bridget Jones style panties like the ones you see here. Full disclaimer, I did not make these. I bought these from Sainsbury's. However, we are going to create a pattern based off of these. It's really easy. If you saw my leggings video, you'll know the premise of what we're going to do here. And it is basically just trace around the different pieces until we get the pattern pieces. So let's go ahead and do that. Before we do, I want to tell you what you're gonna need. So you're gonna need paper, which I've got here. You're gonna need a ruler of some kind with some measurements on it, because you will have to do some measuring. You'll need a pencil. I'll use a friction pen because I need it to show up on camera. You may or may not want to use a tracing wheel. When I was doing a practice, I was finding it difficult to see the lines that I'd created with the spokes. Um, so I'll only be using this if I really need it. Right, so let's get started. You have to excuse the size of these panties. They are big panties. They are big, big Bridget Jane panties, but they fit me. And it is important that you use panties that fit you well, that you know are going to fit you. So on here, we can see that there's three main pieces. You've got the front piece, you've got the back piece, and you've got the gusset piece. The front and the back, we can cut on the fold because they're symmetrical. And actually, you could probably cut the gusset on the fold as well, but it's such a small piece that we probably won't need to. First of all, we'll do the back piece. So, We'll need to fold it over so it's folded in half nicely. You want to make sure that it's folded at the seam line and try to be quite specific about that. Get your paper where you want it. I'm going to put this on the edge of my paper there so that it will be cut on the fold. You see there there's a line for the gusset. Because we only want the back piece to go to there, I'm going to fold that under. Remember this is the back piece. You'll see here it goes in a little bit and that doesn't mean that it's cut on a curve, it just means the elastic has gathered it. So we're gonna assume that that is a straight line. So you wanna get your pencil and I'm going to use my pen. So basically we need to trace around it and try and be as close as you can to the edge. So this is what I have come up with. We just have that there for reference. So you're actually going to want this bit which is, sits at the waist on a very slight curve. Now where the fold is, you want that at a 90 degree angle because otherwise it'll go in a V when you open it up. I would have it at a 90 degree angle for about a centimeter or an inch. And then I would slightly curve it. So you'll see on this ruler, there is a slight curve. Just make sure the beginning and the end is lined up and that will be my line. Now this is the side seam here, but we need to add a seam allowance. So it's actually going to be wider than that. And because it's Jersey, I'm going to add three eighths. 
and that's my side seam including the seam allowance and then we've got the leg part now with the leg part i did trace it on the outside of the elastic and the elastic will add a little bit but because we'll need a seam allowance we can keep that as it is and then that will be fine and that's because if you see here there is some elastic and it adds a little bit about three eighths and because you need three eighths when you do a seam allowance we're good to do that part without a seam allowance and then this last bit is the gusset and we want that to be at 90 degrees so this is the outline of our back piece and we're going to want to cut that on the fold what i like to do is measure the actual part so this is the gusset area so that width there sorry my hair's again everywhere that width there should be twice of that width because it's on the fold if we just measure this one two three just over five and a quarter which means two two seven eight maybe so we just bring that in there a little bit because at this stage it is really easy to just adjust the pieces so we just want to label that cut one on fold so we just want to cut one on fold for the back piece so let's move on to the front piece so now you want to fold the panties in half so the front is exposed the gusset begins there so we'll fold that under we don't need this bit so we'll fold that under because that's the back fabric piece so this is what we want let me move that back a bit so you can see now this is what we want to copy for the front piece so we'll just go along here like this Now here you might want to use your wheel and go over it but I've got too many layers there so I'm just going to like choose a point there and put a mark there choose a point there and put a mark there and then I can just create my curve this So I've made the gusset straight and I've created a curve there. We want that at a 90 degree angle for a centimetre or so. And then we can join it up with the rest of the dots. Now don't forget on the side seam we're going to need to do three eighths. So I've created my three eighths and now we can draw that in. And we've got a little bit of a gap there so we just follow those lines through like that and so that is the shape of the front of my pattern i've just double checked that and that looks good with the seam allowance on the edge so we'll label this right so that's our front and our back piece is done now we just need to do the gusset and that is it so we'll move the paper over so here we have the gusset now i've laid it flat and i'm just going to do some points at each end of the gusset on both sides To me that doesn't look completely completely symmetric but when we cut it out we can check for symmetry now this will be cut to gusset and you'll want to cut those out in natural cotton organic cotton would be best but something i haven't done here is to add seam allowance now we only want seam allowance at the top and the bottom and that's three eighths don't do what i've done i've gone into the other pattern piece you can true this up properly so that's our three pattern pieces so now what we've got to do is cut it out 
and then check the sides to make sure they are all the same size and they will go together just right. So I'm going to speed up this bit. Here's your story, let's begin. The world is fine, come on, dive in. The future's here, it's right before you. This is the gusset. We need to fold it in half. So I folded that in half. And it looks slightly off there. So I'm going to true that up. And the other end slightly off as well. And the edges are pretty good. So that's my finished gusset piece. So this is the front piece. And on the gusset... The smaller end will be the front and the larger end will be. So what I need to do is fold the gusset in half lengthways there, match it up there. So I've overlaid on the seam line and I just need to make sure that is seamless and it joins at the same spot, which it does. So that's absolutely fine. We don't need to true that up. Let's get the back piece and do the same there. Put a seam line in. There's a seam line there. And we need this seam line, which is the bigger end. We need to match that up. Now, this is too small. You'll see that the ends don't meet on this one. So we've got a decision to make. We need, either need to extend the gusset out or trim in the leg. Now, probably I would normally extend the gusset out because it's better to be out than in. However, for the benefit of this tutorial and getting this tutorial done, I'm going to true the leg to the gusset. So if we just put a mark there, so that's where I know the, gus the leg needs to stop. We don't want to take too much off. We, we just want to shave it so it's enough. So I'm just going to take that little bit off. So now that is the right width. And that's the largest end of the gusset onto the back of the panties. So the last thing we need to do is true up the two side seams because they're going to be sewn together. I've got the front and the back and we need to true them up on the seam line. So let's do that. You can see the front is quite a bit longer than the back. So we just need to true that up. So if we do that there, make a mark there, and we can just blend that in. So that's blended, and then we will just want to cut off the excess. So now we have all our pattern pieces for our Bridget Jones style panties. You've got the front that you want to cut on the fold, you've got the back you want to cut on the fold and you've got the whole gusset there. What you may have spotted when I started was that the paper I was using was folded over and that just means that when I cut it out, I've got the whole panty there. So if I wanted to fussy cut on a specific pattern and wanted pattern placement was important to me, I could cut it out as one piece. But if I was cutting on the fold, I can cut like that. And it's the same for that piece as well. And this is a whole piece that you could cut on the fold if you want. That's the pattern completely finished. I hope you enjoyed that. I'll go back to present day me now. So I hope you found that video really useful. I know that once I learn to trace my garments, it makes things so easier for self-draft and, and it emits a lot of cost when um, patterns, particularly indie patterns, but even some big four, cost you know 15 20 pounds and you can just make them yourself question of the day let me know have you made your own panties and did you self-draft or did you use a pattern if you used a pattern do let me know which pattern you used i do have some panty patterns that i need to try out but i know by self-drafting they are going to fit me because i'm using a pair of pants 
but already fit me well. So I hope you found this video super useful. If you want to see more videos like this, do hit the subscribe button, click the notification bell to be notified when my next video goes live. And don't forget to leave a comment and a like as those things really help me. So I'd just like to extend a massive thank you to those of you who have donated and bought me a coffee. You know who you are, I'm not going to name names just in case you don't want to be named. However, I am really, really super appreciative because it helps me to purchase things that I need to keep this channel going. So if you would like to make a no commitment donation to my channel, do have a look in the description box where you'll find information on how to do that. So until next time, happy sewing. You know what I'm gonna say, bye for now.